Hey everyone, it's Ken from Four Seasons Antiques and Collectibles. How are y'all doing? Uh, here we are out in the garage. Uh, I'm beat. I'm tired. Uh, it's really been uh, quite the last couple months for me, uh, trying to make some room in the garage and uh, just trying to get things organized. So we finally got some stuff organized here in the garage. Um, I don't know if any of you see my pictures on Facebook, um, but we got a little store building here in the back. Uh, but I still got tons of stuff I haven't even sorted through, don't even know what I have. Uh, not even sure what we're going to price stuff. So, uh, if you want, we can take a look at one of the bins I got back here. And uh, we'll go through it slowly and see what's in there. So right off the top, I got a couple air filters for cars, brand new. You know, I'm probably going to price those a buck a piece. And the reason I want to price them a buck a piece is uh, I have so much stuff that I need to get this kind of stuff moving. I just can't keep the plain Jane air filters uh, like that now this on the other hand though is a nice wood level or not level what am I talking this is a wood um, planer it's for doing dovetails and corners and stuff like that um, this guy's probably gonna get priced somewhere around 25 30 dollars to sit in the shop and then uh, hopefully if it doesn't sell there then I'll send it to auction for 20 30 bucks and get that there jigsaw well okay we have one it's a skills electric jigsaw we'll check to see if it works uh, if it does and we have more than one of them then it'll go for five bucks in the garage sale just to try and get rid of it again we don't want to keep stuff any longer than we have to. steel pulley wheel uh, that's a good five pounds or so Again, we'll put it out for two or three bucks. If we can't get that for it, we'll save it, put it in a bucket somewhere, and uh, that'll go scrap metal. Uh, so we got guys that like, we hope we can do something with scrap metal. A couple more old tools. This is a, uh, oops, got a couple here. Put them down. This is the type that you kind of push on and you whoops, push on and you drill your hole into something uh, however the seat part is broken so I have a couple options I can pull the seat part out try and get another one for it or uh, sell it cheap at a garage sale and try and get a buck serious in the little clamp I'm looking at you know again buck two bucks I might just keep that though because clamps always come in handy um, another clamp anyone know what that is uh, I do uh, if you can tell me what it is leave it in the comments uh, and maybe we'll have a prize for you if someone can figure out what that is That's nothing really, that's just some extra paper we had laying around. That one, two, these are curtain rod uh, pieces to put up curtain rods. Got a couple of those, again, good for a buck or two each at the garage sale. Nice wood handle uh, cement thing. Looks like it needs to be some sanding and cleaning done to make a nice little scraper. Um, sorry if I'm moving stuff around too fast I better slow that down. Eh? Well, so that's a neat little piece. Again it's only worth the buck. Now we're all still in the same bin. Angle grounder, Mastercraft. I think this is actually my personal one. Uh, so we're not going to sell that. But see that's what I mean by I have too much stuff is my personal stuff is now mixed in with stuff that's going in the garage sale and I really just don't know what we're going to do with it all. Um, so here we go, Sears Mastercraft, another jigsaw, it's a Craftsman's, but an old, older style one. So this is definitely going to go garage sale pile, and the other one now is going to move into my keep pile. Um, there's a key of crowbars around here, I must have 40 crowbars. Nice hammer, this is probably one of the nicest hammers I have, so we'll keep that. Another crowbar. 
you know a grad sale you're going to get five to ten bucks for these crowbars every time uh, especially if they've got good claws to them so don't forget that when you're cleaning out someone's yard or garage Craftsman's corner sander again not a whole lot but it does good for sanding small projects so we'll put that in my pile of heap so the more I look at this stuff I'm thinking it's probably more of my personal tools than anything else but uh, I'm really not sure axe handle again this is a good selling item at a garage sale um, don't think you can get more than two to three bucks for it but that's usually what it goes keyhole saw for drywall again um, probably have about 10 of them axe handles I don't think I have any because I've sold pretty much everyone I had so and that's a good size one so we'll keep that um, that's a little thing for taking stuff off of barbecues like grills hot grills keep that little hand sander by Stanley um, again it's probably not worth much five ten bucks if that but you know it's a nice little piece look good in a tool auction or garage sale um, now here's a nice piece and uh, might even have a spot to screw that up it's uh, to screw to your wall and then stick your screwdrivers or hammers or whatever tools you want in it so we'll keep that in case I didn't have enough curtain rods there's a couple more just in case you need them I got a couple well that's not dowling that's a piece of round metal probably for a jack dowling another little hammer I'll keep that because we never have enough hammers around here so another little hand plane put that in the sail pile oh this piece goes with the mystery piece that I was trying to tell you to figure out what it was so there's a little clue for you so you can figure that out this tool is for changing uh, oil in your car. Again, I probably have about 10 of these in the garage here, but don't know if I have one in my private collection. This is a kind of neat little uh, kit thing. It has a screwdriver on it, and a square screwdriver, a can opener. Kind of an all in one tool, nice little tool. Um, again, you might be able to get 3 4 bucks of that at a garage sale. Just because it's a unique piece, you know. Guitar jack, everyone knows what that is. So, see if I said about keyhole saws. There's another one. This is a uh, hacksaw, hand one. Um, I probably have two or three of these, but that one looks like a nice one. Now, there's a nice 18 inch Mastercraft crowbar. Again, that's another $5 piece. But I'll keep that for my personal collection of tools because, well, I don't care as much. There's another hacksaw. Um, you know, I might keep it because those plastic handle ones tend to break. That's a nice wood handle one. Okay. So, there's one, two, three. There's three wood handle saws uh, or planers good for about 20 bucks each sorry about that my son called and I had to grab the phone so there's another three more of those at 20 bucks a piece so you know there's 20 40 60 80 100 120 140 45 50 60 160 dollars out of that tub not including what I kept for myself there's a safety glasses and oh look there's the box for my grinder and no grinder in it but all the pads and parts and tools to put it together so definitely we're going to keep that and that'll protect my grinder and I won't sell it so we got a oh, non-working flashlight which really isn't worth much nice little hand planer worth a couple bucks metal brush again that'll go into my collection tape measure never have too many um, that's just gonna go in the miscellaneous pile for now so a little 
miscellaneous wrenches. Now you have to watch some of these wrenches because like this one here, that's a Yamaha 20, 19 inch 22, made probably just for Yamaha mice motorcycles. Probably not worth a lot, but you know, to the right guy, five ten dollar piece, I'm sure. Maybe more. Um, those ones are no good. Oh, this is for uh, that you can kind of add to your saw files. And, and they're not worth lots these files depending on how new and everything uh, but I probably currently have 50 of these and I'm selling them at 50 cents a piece there's 25 bucks in these things this is a nice little uh, wood chisel I'll keep that for myself pipe cutter those that do uh, recycling or and don't have one of these you need to get one this is uh, for cutting pipe, great for cutting copper pipe. Two second job. Immediately. So yeah, this pretty much looks like my toolbox on the bottom here. Uh, this is kind of different. And you go, oh, those are pretty common. This one's aluminum, nice metal one. You don't see those often. You know, no pliers, always good to have. Scraper. Another scraper. This one's actually quite nice. I like this one. I didn't know I had this one. This one has a, a cover on it, and you take the cover off, and it has a nice razor blade underneath. And then this here is a uh, for drawing lines. And then this is a small metal cutter. Remember, I showed you the bigger one earlier. This is a smaller one. Um, this video's getting pretty long, so I'm not going to talk very much longer. Um, what else is in this stuff here? And then, last but not least, a pair of uh, just uh, general work boots. I thought they were steel toes, but no, these are just a, a work boot kind of thing. Looks like uh, some rodents have made their home in these boots. Nothing special, but maybe next garage sale, you know, I'll clean them up a bit. Put. Uh, five ten bucks on them and try and get that out so all in all pretty good uh, group of stuff in that box um, hopefully we'll do some more videos go through some more boxes again this one's kind of uh, not half ass but a lot of the tools ended up being my own private tools so there wasn't really much uh, in the interest but again we have that uh, guessing contest so guess that uh, oh look at this full kit of uh, saw blades so or not drill bits and again these you know there's guys that will buy these off you pay you maybe five bucks for them I'll keep this for myself for a personal set so thanks for watching hope you just enjoyed the video um, we'll try and get this up and uh, on within the next couple of days do some editing uh, thanks a lot for watching. Please hit the like button and uh, subscribe if you haven't already because you know what? What you've seen from me in the past is uh, was just me getting started. We're moved into an office space now um, and you're going to hopefully see some better quality videos from me and a lot more of this type. Uh, either be my picks or my boxes or something. We're going to try and run off a bunch of these over the next little while uh, so that everyone can get a bit of enjoyment. So thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later. Have a good day.